talk about you. Okay. Define leadership for us, Vera Bothner style. Wow, what a great question, Don. You know, leadership is, and this is this is truly off the top of my head because I don't have a I don't have a textbook definition. To me, leadership is not waiting for someone else. It's it's mm. not sitting on the sidelines and saying somebody should. It's having that idea and saying, I'm going to get in the game and part of this is up to me. And then when it's not your issue, when it's not your idea, cheering on from the sidelines. I, I, and, Whoa, that's, yeah. That's... And, and not to not have constructive, I, I'm not even going to call it criticism because I've I've learned over time what it is, is it's, it's enough constructive su- support and help from, from the knowledge you've built up without the baggage. It's easy when you've been in one job or in one community for a long time to just have the baggage and to let that get in the way of what can happen. Leadership is knowing I've got this baggage, but that person, that person can make this happen and I can share these three lessons with them and then I can cheer rather wow. than rather than criticize. Because we all have too much criticism in our lives. What we need are more leaders and more cheerleaders. Agreed. Agreed. What was one problem or issue or challenge that you had to overcome over your journey? Well, there's been so many more than one, Don. <laughs> How do I choose one? Whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um you know, I would say, I, you know what? I really, I don't know that this is truly one. I'm trying not to do the typical, oh, you know, perfectionism no, right. is my, you know. No, I my, want the real Vera. Don't. <laughs> I, it, you know what? It probably was not always being able to. It's not. It's it's not something I had to overcome, but it's something I had to realize about myself. How about that? Because I will tell you, I had the most amazing mentors. I had the most amazing people. I, I never felt I had to overcome anything other than maybe always, this was my own issue, feeling like the Western Kansas farm girl, you know? Um, but even then I, I was able to, for whatever reason, show up and I, I think be genuine Okay. And and not try to be who I wasn't. I never wanted to be nor tried to be anything other than, you know, Vera McMinnemy Bothner from Ashland, technically Sitka, Kansas. And there's a <laughs> bunch of people out there who already know where that is, which is stunning. Um, it. I think the one thing I did have to overcome is I realized that I was never the person that had the vision. Really? No. Isn't that surprising? I think that does surprise people about me. I don't have the vision, but man, I recognize people when they do. And and hmm. I am able to help clear obstacles out of their way to get to that vision. Now, it means we're okay. going to have to have some okay. hard conversations. Okay, I'm with you now. You, I got, you see, I see it? Okay. I don't have the vision, but, but boy, when the person who had the vision for tech education, because 20 years ago, when Tammy and I first got into business, technical education, we didn't have anything close to WSU Tech. Correct. We didn't have what Dr. Utash Correct. and her team have created. That has come from the the vision and the germs and the seeds that a bunch of people right here in this chamber room created mm-hmm. over over time, including yep. Ron Holt yep. and and plenty of other names we all recognize. Right. That was a seven-year journey for Tammy and I early on in our, that was one of our first big clients was um, Kansas Technical Training Initiative. And it was all about how do we raise not just the level of technical education in the community, but create the structure and the vision for it. And it was an incredible journey that changed every two to three months based on where we were going. I didn't have that vision, but the people who did, I helped them get there. You helped them get there, exactly. <laughs>